Earlier this year, school feeding caterers embarked on an industrial action to force government to increase the school feeding grant. Many months down the line, not only has this demand not been met, caterers are being owed several months. The NDC in parliament is worried. Funds for the program has been irregular. As you speak, we are in the third term. And my checks from the grounds indicate that the school feeding secretariat has only paid for the first term. So second term, even though some caterers offered their services, they have not been paid. And they are in the third term. And so because of lack of funds, what is happening is that in most of the schools, if the caterer does not have the capacity to fund the program, then they will not provide the food at all. The minority are also lamenting the poor quality of the food served school children in beneficiary schools. Who is monitoring the, the, the program? How many people have we recruited as monitors? And how do they monitor? So because of in inefficiency in the monitoring process, again, irregular funding, the program is almost collapsing. The quality as well as the quantity of the food that is supplied has been compromised. Now, if you visit any of the schools and you look at the quality of food that is served to our children, you'll be more than worried. If you should look at the quantity, you'll be, you'll be angry because resources are not being provided. The 2023 budget announced an increase in the school feeding grant Eric Opoku says government may not even be able to pay for this. Even the 70, are we able to pay? We are unable to pay. Now we are talking about increasing it to 120 or so. What is the guarantee that government can pay? When you look at the budget and you look at the expenditure as against revenue, government projects a revenue of 145 billion against expenditure of 227 billion. And government says that I'm going to borrow around 83 billion this year. Now we don't have access to the international capital market. So we are not going to get anything from, I mean, the international uh, market. Now when we come locally, because of the introduction of the haircut in this budget, can government get money domestically? Who is going to lend to government? Currently, school feeding caterers get 97 pesos to feed your children who benefit from this program. Government has announced its intention to raise this amount and the specific details will be fleshed out as the committees of parliament consider the various estimates and allocations that have been made to the various MDAs. But the minority are already raising concerns that not only will government be unable to fund this because of the huge deficit in the 2023 budget, but already so many caterers are owed so many months in arrears and want government to take some urgent measures. The minority say they want to rally Ghanaians to pile the pressure on government to pay particular attention to the school feeding program before it finally collapses. For Join News, Kweku Asante, Parliament House, Accra.